Greetings guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome back to The Amazing Plant Project. My name's Kate, and today is episode two of Botany Bites. And today we're looking at London Rocket, or Rocket Mustard. It's got a bunch of different names, honestly. It is native to Europe and probably the Middle East from historical records. There's not that much known about it culinarily in the histories, but it's edible and actually a really good source of vitamin C, zinc, iron, a lot of other things. It does have an appearance of wild mustard. There's a couple of different species of mustard, so just if you know definitively that that's what it is, and it's been grown in a space that's free of pesticides and herbicides and animals urinating on it, presumably, especially with how everything is going. Now, it is edible. It's also a good thing to, like, get your blood moving. It is also, however, very spicy, so a little goes a long way. I don't have that much experience with cooking with it, per se, but it would work as, like, part of wild greens in a salad, but I'll leave a link in the description for a site that I found where they have actual recipes with London Rocket as a main ingredient for pestos and other things like that. So, that being said, let's flip the camera around, shall we? Okay, now, as you can see, if it focuses, there we go. The flower heads are very close together, and each flower itself has four petals. That is an indicator that this is one of the brassica or brassicaceae plants, just like broccoli and cauliflower. So the flowers and seeds are edible, as are the leaves, and if you come down here, you see the leaves here. This is usually what you see, or a leaf like that, a leaf shape like that, when you're talking about rocket, or arugula, as it's usually called in the US. It's part of the mustard family. It is edible, and it's actually got some good properties to it. So, yeah, if you see these guys kicking around, and it's from a area that you know that it's not been subjected to something that will make you sick. If you eat it, and you can, and you want to try it, you might want to pick some and take it home and wash it and see how it works out for you. I will say, like, regular Rocket is very peppery. This stuff has a pretty high spice kick to it, so just be careful of that. And everything that I've found regarding preparing this guy for consumption says that if you want to eat the leaves, they taste better if the plant is young enough that it's not flowering it, because by the time the plant is flowering, the concentration is high enough that it's the, the spice is pretty strong. So make of that what you will. And all right, so hopefully that is a interesting factoid about your garden plants. I know I've seen these in our garden for a long while. Just didn't quite know what they were until recently. So yeah, that's where we'll leave it for today. If you want to see the last video, it's over there. The rest of the Botany Bites playlist is over here. If you want to check out my other channel where I do craft things and random other stuff, it'll be linked over here. And I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, if you want to subscribe, hit the, hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon next to it so you're notified when I upload a new plant video. Till next time, see you later. Bye.